So guys, let's just get straight into it. You're going to need a rat tail comb. You're going to need some spray. You're going to need a brush and comb and some edge wax for those lines. Then this is reference. You're going to need to have mousse. You're going to need packs of hair, many packs of hair, as you can see. So here I'm just showing you the color of the hair. Uh, they are all brown, but they just got tints of red and different shades of brown on them. So now I'm just going to separate my hair. And I'm going to start by separating my hair into four quarters. So then I'm going to put my hair away and concentrate on one section. So before I decide to plait, I'm going to have to detangle my hair lightly just to make sure there are no tangles and my plaits come out nice and smooth. So here I'm just using a mirror just to make sure my partings at the back are nice and straight and clean. So to clean those partings up even more, I'm going to take some edge wax, just put it on my edges just to smooth them and keep them in place. And now I'm making my first part in, and this will be my first plait. So again, I'm taking more edge wax and getting all my little flyaway hairs tucked in so my plaits are nice and sleek and chic. So I'm going to take my rat tail comb and I'm just going to comb all of that in because if you do leave the edge wax on your hair without combing it in, it turns a very not nice colour <laughs> and it doesn't sit in very well. Now I'm taking strands of hair and I'm just separating them because I'm going to be using three pieces per plait. So I'm going to start my plait off as you can see and it may look tight guys but it's really not. It looks tighter than it is due to the edge wax uh, keeping my hair looking so sleek but it's not. So as you can see, I've started doing my plaits and I'm plaiting outwards. And now I'm just going to take a section of hair and I've looped it around my fingers. Don't worry guys, I will slow this down. I've attached it to my hair and now I'm just plaiting that in. Now I'm going to take another section of hair, looped it around again and I've just hooked it onto my index finger and my thumb. So I'm holding it with my index finger and my thumb and now I'm just about to plait it in, there you go. So here I was just kind of judging if I really needed that third piece because I don't want my plaits to start off thin and then start to look chunky. So as you can see I didn't use the third piece for the back just because I wanted my plait to look more realistic. So here I'm just plaiting all the way down to the ends as you can see. And yes guys it was a stand up job, no pun intended. <laughs> It was, uh, it was time consuming and hard work, but we got there in the end. So now I'm just going back and detangling and I'm going to be sectioning off the rest of my hair to start plaiting. So this is what I've got so far at the back. I've done my five plaits. Uh, I've tried my best with my parting. They may not be the best, but I think they look quite nice for the first time in a long time. So now I'm showing you the rest of the plaits that I've done so far and I'm showing you the hair that I'm using. Okay guys, so I'm just quickly showing you how the hair comes all together in the pack. And as you can see, what I mentioned before, I have a bit of a red tinge at the ends of the hair. So I'm separating them again. I'm just gonna do this front section, just so you can see. 
Okay, in with the edge wax. And I'm going to clean up that line with the rat tail comb. So it may seem like I'm going over this line a few times. In fact, I think I reduced <laughs> the amount of times on camera and I just carried on going through that part because I just wanted it to look crisp. But I'm just showing you what I've done here. And now I'm going to separate that section and apply my edge wax. Now my plaits are small enough. I wanted them medium size. I think they could have been slightly bigger, um, but being my first time, I think I underestimated or overestimated, however you want to call it. But however, I was very happy with the outcome. So here I'm starting off my plait and I've looped the hair around my index and thumb finger on my left hand and I've slipped it into my index and thumb on my right hand. Hey guys, so after five hours and two days, yeah, I finished my hair two days ago. These are the end results of my box braids. This is the first time in 20 years that I have done my hair like this. I'm not as young as you think. <laughs> anyway guys, so that is how I done my box braids, as you saw. My partings I don't think are necessarily the best, but I think for the fact that I haven't got eyes at the back of my head, I've done a pretty good job. So let me just quickly show you. Okay, so these are the partings at the back. And my braids are literally just reaching waist length. So my bra is here, waist length. They're just reaching waist length. And in fact, when I was plaiting down the lengths of my hair, so I'll give you an example, this one here, my real hair actually stops. So this is the length of my real hair at the front. The rest of my hair is longer, but this is pretty much what I was left with. This is pretty much all the extension, but my real hair stops around here. So yeah, I was plaiting for a while, five hours in fact. And if you are interested guys as to why I put my hair in a protective style, then you might want to click on my next video now, 15 reasons why I stopped doing wash and goes. Go ahead, click. Anyway guys, that is it for this video. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you, see you in the next one. Bye.